Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proferic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress basic tutorial for beginners and this is our part 7. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we use Metaslider plugin to our installed theme. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress basic tutorial. So basically guys, in our part 6, we have installed 3 different plugins to our WordPress setup. Okay, so this, these are the plugins guys actually we have installed called page builder, meta slider and contact form 7 where we have seen about the two different ways to actually download and install plugin to our WordPress setup. So if you back to browser, if you go to plugin section, so inside this install list of plugins guys these are the plugins called contact form 7, meta slider and page builder. So in this video session guys we are going to use called meta slider to our wordpress setup means how can we actually set meta slider as well as how can we show that slider to our front end page we are going to set all these things in this video session. So just back to our administrator panel and now after activating this plugin guys called meta slider we have a menu called meta slider in our administrator panel so just i'm going to click that after clicking on that guys actually meta slider provides some of the guidelines of the steps that actually by following these comments we can actually set the meta slider to our theme okay so first of all we have to create a new meta slider for our wordpress setup so just i'm going to click on this new icon by clicking on this guys here we have to actually provide the name of this slider okay so let's say that this is home page slider okay this is the name actually i have given for our first slider of this meta okay next we have to call add slide means we have to add some of the images for this slider and these are the informations guys actually by the help of this tool tip actually meta slider has provided some of the guidelines for the users so just I'm going to click on this add slides. Basically by adding these slides guys actually we are going to select files from our system or from the media gallery. Okay. So just close this icon. So finish. So basically we have to install some of the plugins, some of the images. So if you go to media library as we can see that we have some images. Okay. So we have to select these images and now we are going to set all these images to our meta slider. So let's select these images. So first, second, by pressing control button guys you can actually select more than one images. So I am pressing control button. So first, second and third. Okay. We have selected three different images. Clicking on add, add to slides just wait for few minutes because it is loading all the images to your meta slider dashboard and now as we can see that all these three images that we have chosen now uploaded to home page slider so if we see about the right side of some customization some customization of this plugins so we can see that this plugin actually provides four type of slides called flex slider r slider nevo slider and coin slider these are the type of sliders Okay, here are the some configurations, some of the settings called width, height, effect and many more options. Okay, so just I'm going to make it as something called 1200 or let's say that 1024. Okay, by choosing by, you can actually set the width of your this slider. Okay, so I'm going to fix something called 1200 pixel. Okay, and height something called 500 pixel. So this is the height and width actually I have set to my WordPress setup. Okay, effect something I want something fit effect. Okay, there are multiple actually options effects actually the meta slider provided. Next, what we have to do so just close this drop down. So this is the option for arrows, and now these are the options for navigation. So just scroll down. So basically, actually here meta slider provides that how can we use this home page slider that we have created. So we have to just copy this sort code, and now. We have to just paste this sort code to any of the page actually we are we want to show this meta slider. Okay, so I am going to copy this sort code. Okay, just go to page section. So before that, let me save all these changes. So after saving that, just open our pages in our new window. Okay, new tab. So let's make a page called home. Okay, so I'm going to make a home page. So this is the home page. I am going to add the sort code. Either I can paste it here because I have copied that sort code from 
here okay so either you can just copy and paste here or we have another option is added right here called add slider so just I'm going to click that after adding we have a pop-up and saying it's that insert meta slider so we have to select called home page slider because this is the slider guys that we have made okay so just selecting that insert slide so so this is the short code actually it has inserted so let me save that by clicking on publish button guys first if you go to our front end section reload this page there is no option for our home page okay so if I open just by the help of this permalink now as we can see that this is the slider that we have implemented okay here we have images this is the fade effect as we have applied if I want to apply some of the more effects just back to meta slide configuration go up so inside this drop down of effect we can choose any of the option okay so let's say that slide up left okay so these are the actually disabled by default because these are the options actually provided in the premium version of this meta slider so inside this free version guys we have only two options first either fade second other slide okay so let's click on the slide the second free available effect option so just I'm going to save after saving just go to front end section and reload this page once we reload now if I click on this arrow icon as we can see that we have now slide option so next what we have to do now we have to make this home page as the front page of this website because this is the permalink of our home page and now right now there is no option there is no menu of home menu icon inside this WordPress setup so just back to our administrator panel go to settings panel inside this settings panel guys we have called reading option so just click on reading option while clicking on that we have some configuration of our pages section so we want uh, that our home page should be a static page for our website okay so just click on our static page here we have to select that which home page actually which page we are going to select for this home page option so just click on this drop down so we want that home page should be our home page okay so by selecting that we have to click on this save changes so if you go to front end section reload this page and now as we can see that the home page is now our front end page so if I click on any of the menus such as I want to click on products after clicking on that if I click on WordPress basic subdated it will redirect to our home page okay so we want that we should a menu called home right here inside this navigation okay so just back to our administrator panel go to appearance menus remember guys actually we have configured about the menus and sub menus in our previous video session okay next we have to add a home page right here okay so just I'm to select this add to menu by selecting that guys actually home menu is right here so just drag and we have to drop at the first position so just click on save menu go to front end section and now reload this page so once we reload that as we can see that this is the home is now selected because this is our home page click on products again we are on the products page clicking on home now we are on the home page okay so right now guys as we can see that this slider has no full width option okay so let me inspect that why not actually we are making to its 100% width okay so just scroll up here we have an option called max width just scroll up and now inside this post 77 there is no option so now inside this primary content area here is the width called 70 percent so we have to make it as 100 percent so let's say 100 percent so as I scroll down as we can see that now slider is at 100 percent width okay so we have to actually make some of the CSS setting to this theme okay so just to go to folder structure back to root folder of this project called WordPress basics just WP content themes and now we have currently activated called uncode light okay so just open up the theme inside this theme we have to open up a style.css file because we are going to change or update or you can say that we are going to add some of the CSS styles okay so just scroll down so at the last position guys we are going to add our own custom CSS okay so let's make a comment first so added or adding let's say custom 
CSS code okay so inside this CSS file just go to browser we have to copy all these contents and paste inside right here okay so if I save this file just go to browser close this inspect and now reload this page so as we can see that guys here is the website actually where we have implemented our meta slider to the home page and also we have made a home page as the static page of this home page of WordPress so basically guys by the help of this video session actually we understood about the settings of our meta slider and now configuration of our home page okay so if you have any doubts in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day